Hey guys, my name is Dylan, and today I have another interview with, uh, I, I don't know what to call you, should I just call you NB? You can call me NB, NB official, whatever it is. All right, so we got NB here, <laughs> uh, he's an artist, and I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself, promote yourself, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> yeah, my name's NB official, I make music, you know, the usual, I'm a rapper from Tampa, Florida, 16 years old, you got to hit me up, my Insta is cash out mb instead of the a make it an x and then put the two docs from cash and then out and then mb hit that shit mb official on all plats so you know how it is <laughs> all right so i've got five questions for you um so the first one okay. is going to be what is your favorite part about making music hmm, that's a good part okay my favorite part about making music is you let go all the emotion like when you make music you're really not thinking about life and Bessie, I'm still in high school, so, you know, there's always drama, there's always stuff around you, and, you know, when you make music, you really just inspire yourself, you make sure, like, yo, you could be talking shit on my back, but I'm living my life out, you know, if I make, if I make it out, what are you gonna do now, you know what I mean? So music is all about just expressing yourself, I think. Uh, let's see, next question is gonna be, what hobbies do you have outside of music? Hmm, that's good. Um, well, right now I'm on like a weight loss journey. I already lost like 10, 15 pounds. So I work nice out. Job. Thank you. Thank you. I work out. Um, I play football. Uh, of course, I make music. I, I'm trying to get a job now. So, you know, I try to do everything around. I try to go out, hang out with friends, you know, live my life out. All right. This next one's going to be more of a personal question. What is your favorite album of all time? No drama limitation. It could be rock, metal, hip hop, oh. country. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, so my biggest, I'm going to tell you one thing, my biggest inspiration in music is Kanye West and Travis Scott. So my personal album of all time, and this can be so biased, is between between Graduation by Kanye West or Rodeo by Travis Scott. Those are both really good. Um, let's see, do you have any projects that are upcoming, like an album, EP? Yes, yes. Um, I got an album called Before the Show Starts, and that's going to be my debut album because it's that album is the it's like if you think about the inspiration as i said of travis scott that's the before the rodeo and then there's rodeo for me it's before the show starts because i'm like yo this is what you might hear but my collab album with t in like late this year that's gonna be my best work of all time this is just to let you guys know before the show starts i'm probably gonna say it's gonna come out late april everywhere mm -hmm. That's a good answer. That's a really good album idea, actually. Um, so this last question is kind of something you already answered, but who do you look up to in music? Okay. Um, I, <clears throat> well, I look up to recently, like for the past like five years, I've been looking up to Travis Scott, but as growing up and everything, you know, um, my mom, when, you know, when she was still around, my mom would always play Tupac and stuff like that. I'll be like rapping in the house and there was videos of me singing and I never really liked, like I never really thought about doing music, but I always was listening to music and it was always Tupac, Biggie, Nas. It was always those old rappers that I would listen to, but my biggest inspiration, I think, is, hmm, is Kanye West, Travis Scott, and I feel like Let's throw in an old rapper. Let's throw in someone older. Like, hmm. I feel like Eminem because I like more of the soft Eminem stuff. I'm not more of a hard Eminem guy. Like, my favorite song is, oh my God, I can't even remember on the top of my head. It's from that one album with the house and everything. That album is one of my favorite Eminem albums of all time. All right. And I got one more uh, bonus question that I just kind of thought of while sitting here. Who would you like to work with one day in the music industry? It could be a producer, it could be an artist, it could be an engineer, it's anybody that, you know, and it doesn't have to be just one person, like just kind of give a list if you want or list one person, that's entirely up to you. Okay, okay. This is gonna sound so biased and if people are gonna think I'm gonna say Travis Scott, but I feel like I'm too on a lower level right now to say Travis Scott. So I would personally like to work with and it's gonna sound crazy, but Drake, Drake works with so many underground people and everything. And I wanna work with Drake and everything. So I think my biggest inspiration would be working with Drake and producer, oh, Mike Dean. I, I always wanted something from Mike Dean. I love the way he uses, you know, 
the way he engineers and everything, like how he makes the song like make you flow. That's what I like. That's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing. I I'm going to tell you right now. I used to think I was too small for stuff like that. Like three years ago, if you had told me that I'd be working with who I'm working with right now, I would have thought you were crazy. But I put in the work and look where I'm at now. So no dream is too small. So just keep working Amen. and I know that you're going to make it big. That's the Thank one you. thing Appreciate that I will say. It. So now we've come to the point where you can promote your album and kind of talk about that and then we'll end the video. Okay. Well, <clears throat> for most of you guys who don't know me, I'm NB Official. My album Before the Show Starts comes out late April. I'm not going to give a date yet because that's going to come soon. But you're going to see a lot of features that you're going to be like, yo, who is this kid? And I'm telling you, these features, you're not going to see listed. You're just going to hear it. You're going to be like, yo, is it this? Yo, is it that? And these features are people who are very well known. And I've, I've been working with these people. I've been for years that I haven't been making music. I've been working with people who have already made it. And, you know, I feel like this album is going to be a road of emotions. It's going to be like, yo, for all the times that people didn't believe in me and stuff, this is going to be like, yo, this is what's going to happen. This is where I'm going to go musically. So you better sit down and let, let you ride the show. Because if you're not going to sit down, then you got to leave the room. I'm very excited to hear this album, and I'm sure everybody else is going to be too. Uh, if there's anything else you want to say before we go yeah um closing words <clears throat> my closing word is um believe in god guys i feel like the only way for you guys to make it out of the matrix and everything is not to sell your soul but to believe in god if you're not with god then you're not with anyone else and i feel like everyone can do whatever they want you want to play football go ahead and play football you want to be a musician but you don't have the right voice Look at Travis Scott, look at Kid Cudi, look at all these people who don't have the best voice, but they still made it out. You don't need to sell your soul. All you need is to have that potential that you know what you're going to do and you'll just make it out no matter what it is. So that's all I got to say is stay inspired and stay living your life out. Worry about stuff, but don't overthink too much. Very wise and be. Well, thank you so much for coming on and uh, of make sure to go and follow NB so that you guys can get all of the updates on the album and everything else that he's got going on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.